What up guys, Adrian from Your Motorcycle. Today's video, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to strap down and unstrap and tow a little Vespa. Now, if you have a wheel chalk, it's gonna help you a lot. If you have a wheel chalk that you can adjust the size, set it to your smallest size because most Vespas have like 10 or 12 inch rims. Now it's set to accommodate a much smaller tire. Obviously, we're gonna to wanna to push the Vespa right in. And now's where this will come in handy. It's called a Canyon Dancer, and we're gonna just put that over the handlebar. You can do that while you sit on the bike, just to make it easy. Typically on a bigger bike, the wheel chalk would hold the Vespa up, or would hold the motorcycle up by itself. But Vespa tires are so small that they don't always work 100% as they should. Now, if your Vespa does have a side stand, you can kick it out and then do the side stand side first. You're not gonna wanna have any weight on the side stand once the vehicle's in motion, but it'll just help you. In the meantime though, I just kind of lean it against my leg, like that. Next, you wanna get a strap. When you're looking at straps, remember that they have both a usage rating as well as a brake limit rating. And these two numbers will be different. You don't wanna go by the brake limit, you wanna go by the actual intended use limit. So something that says 1,000 pounds might actually only have a usage of 500 pounds. So just be mindful of that. And we're gonna to wanna to strap one side down and then work our way over to the other. And while I'm doing this side, I just keep one foot on the Vespa. And keeping one foot on the floorboard will stop it from wanting to tip over. And I always recommend ratchet straps over the uh, cinch straps. Even though they cost a little bit more, ratchet straps are much safer, much more heavy duty. Less likely to give you user error. And we want to keep this as straight as we can with as little slack in the strap. While at the same time not putting too much pressure on the suspension. Now Vespas are a little bit tricky to strap the back to. Normally you'd have some kind of part of the motorcycle frame and you would want to strap to that or a swing arm. We don't really have as many options with a Vespa. so. Personally, I just go by this rack. You make sure it's secured first. I already looked underneath the seat to make sure the bolts weren't loose. And we're just gonna strap here, head in backwards. Now, some people will tell you to only use three straps. Honestly, use four. They usually come in a four pack anyway. There's a reason for that. If you only have three and one of those two fronts fail, the bike could tip over. You don't want that. And another problem with three is even if your front straps don't fail, your back end can end up fishtailing all over the place, hitting the side of the, uh, hitting the side of the trailer, scratching up your bike. It's just a lot safer to use four straps. So you're gonna wanna make sure everything is nice and taut. And then you're gonna wanna deal with this loose ends. I just circle them up like this. Hopefully you guys can see that. Then I will reach through my circle, make another circle, pull that through, reach through, grab my original circle, and down. Now, the weight of the strap is gonna stop it from coming loose. It's also gonna stop it from banging against your Vespa's paint, which could damage it, or from getting caught in something that could pull the whole bike over. All right, so hard part's done. Stay tuned for how you safely unstrap it. All right, so I'm taking a little break away from the Vespa because I've came to a place which is actually really historic. This is the, I believe it's called David Dunlop uh, Observatory. And at one point it was the biggest observatory in all of the world. So this used to belong, or I think still belongs to the University of Toronto. They do lectures and stuff. I think they actually just keep aliens in here and they find the aliens in this dome right behind me. Now I was talking to a guy who actually does the electrical over here and he was telling me that uh, this whole thing was assembled. The whole dome, the whole mechanicals that make the whole thing pivot because that dome at the top, it rotates a full 360 degrees. And he was telling me that that whole thing, it was built in England and brought over. So basically they built it and then rebuilt it over here. So those two parts there, they open up and then the telescope goes there and that whole dome, everything around, above this rail, actually pivots a whole 360 degrees. Now, of course, the question is how actually 
useful is this thing still? With the city expanding ever more, right now there's just on the other side of those trees, there's actually a bunch of houses that are coming up. Um, there's so much light pollution that it's not being used as much as it used to be, and that's a, that's a shame. All right, not gonna lie, I feel like a total nerd for just geeking out by the uh, observatory here, and I've just been flying my little drone around. I hope you guys like the footage. Um, yeah, I guess we should get back to work. So, on with the video. I know what you're thinking. Something looks different, right? Of course, I changed my shirt. Let's talk about how to unpack this. First thing I do, I undo the back straps. And I'll explain why in a second. Now that the back straps are done, I do one side of the front first. If you have a side stand, you can put the side stand down and do the side stand aside first. And I do this seat on the bike so I can unhook this and lean over the other way and unhook this side without even unstrapping it. Just like that. Got no strings on me, free to go. And that's the easiest, safest way to efficiently strap down a Vespa. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate your support in growing my channel by hitting that like button or hitting subscribe if you want to see more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ride safe. Peace.